Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, this is just another one of those situations where I felt compelled to do a video to point out some things that I actually experienced today myself. And if you're paying any attention to my video, you should see the little sticker on my shirt that says I voted early. So, you know, here in Indiana, I live in uh, north central Indiana in Hamilton County. And, you know, I could have you know voted a week or two ago or whatever. But uh, I waited until today to go and, and vote. What a disgustingly horrible experience this was. I went, first of all, the polls, it's unbelievable how many people are out voting right now in Indiana. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. There was over 500 people in line. It took me an hour, 15 hour, 20 minutes just to get through the line to vote. And it's a week away from Election Day, November 8th. However, I unfortunately uh, got in line and I was just, to myself, you get into these polling lines, a smart thing to do, you know, by and large is kind of key to yourself you know at this at this point when you're at a polling station a very unwise thing to do unwise is trying to convince somebody or discuss who you're voting for why and all this other stuff while you're in line because people get emotional my last video talked about emotions and that type of thing so I'm standing in line <clears throat> and it's these two uh, Caucasian women come up behind me um, one of those ladies, probably in her late 50s, maybe early 60s or so, uh, comes up behind me. And there was this other really, other really, really nice Caucasian woman next to me. She was a lot, She was about 79. She was real nice. And she was asking me questions, and I was just, you know, answering the questions she asked. You could tell she was just, you know, just one of those people that's not super educated on it but wanted to talk to somebody about it. Well, this lady behind me holding. Mm, 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 mm. These liberal Democrats, mm, 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 mm. the kings of sleaze, the, ki the kings, the kings. This lady is sitting behind me and she starts talking and I'm just kind of sitting there and the other lady standing next to me, we're just kind of listening and I'm just paying, minding my own business, not saying much. And then she starts talking about this and that and, you know, she brings up, uh, you know, Trump and this and I was, it, this is what she said to me. She said, I'm, I was going to... Uh, vote for Trump this is total BS but this, this is total nonsense I was going to vote for Trump because the Republicans hated him so much so babe, that's that's your first that's that ding 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 the bell goes off you're a Democrat so what do you do what, what's your point Demo, the, the, those type her, her type not all Democrats but her type of Democrat they don't vote anything else but Democrat it's just you go in pull the lever and you're done you know, I mean, they, they just don't divert. It's like kind of like the there's Republicans out there that do the same thing. So me as an independent sitting there and, and listening to her, she's like, well, I was going to vote for him because the Republicans really hated him. And I stopped her. I said, like, hey, you know, you might want to think of this for a second. You know, I'm, I just be honest, with you, I'm voting for Trump today. So and, he, and I'll just give you a basic reason why. The Republicans all tried to trash him and destroy him. The, de the Democrats obviously did the same thing. And the mainstream media, who's owned by these people, try to do the same thing because he's independent running as a Republican. That is a fact. All right? And he's a nationalist, not a globalist. And the rest of these people just want to go along to get along. You know, that that's that's the M.O. That is the M.O. All you got to do is watch the first 100-day plan you know, with Trump, and you should be very happy with what you hear. Anywho, I'm not here to convince you to vote for Trump. I'm voting for Trump, just so you know. And I'm voting for him because just some, just some, there's a lot of reasons, but that's a real basic reason. Anybody that understands things, you know, that understands, like, manipulation and understands. When you see everybody ganging up on one person, hmm, you know, your spidey senses should be going off like crazy. They, they should, literally, there should be a bell in your head ringing. So once that was done and I, I said that, she wanted to continue the conversation through this line. And it sucked because I was at the, we just got in line. So I was like, I got to listen to this shit for the next hour or so. So she comes out and gives us another. I literally felt like I was talking to Hillary Clinton. I mean, literally. She, it total just garbage. She said, uh, oh, don't you, didn't you know, did you know that, that, that Trump wants Saudi Arabia and Japan, these other countries to have nuclear weapons? And I started laughing. I'm like, what are you talking about? I was like, he never said that. I was like, we we've been we've been defending those countries at the at the cost of us for since NATO, since right after World War II. I'm like, so he never he never came out and said he wanted them to have nukes. He just said that they're going to have to start paying. 
They're going to have to start paying. But, but that's what these people do. That's what manipulators do. They, they take your words and they turn it into something and emotional. Because that's an emotional thing. You don't want them having nukes because they'll come and attack us and they'll blow up the country. That's all that shit was. It's all emotional garbage. Garbage. So I listened to her and then she said after the fact, well, that's what he said. I was like, all right. So I just didn't say anything else. And then right after that, so I'm like, all right, I'm just going to mind my own business talk to this other lady who seems at least reasonable. And, and she disagreed with me on a few things, but you could talk to her. So the same lady, again, starts talking about guns. We need to get the guns out of all these idiots' hands. We need to get the guns out of all these people with their guns and this, that, and the third. And I'm like, <sighs> shaking my head, shaking my head, because I knew where she was going with this. I just, could just hear it. I knew where she was going with this. And I was like, well, you know, we have an example of what happens when you disarm the population. Just look at the city of Chicago. New York City's the same thing. Why do you think they call Chicago Chirac? They call it Chirac because people get shot. People get killed there more than they do over in the, in the Middle East right now with guns. And you can't, you're not supposed to have a gun in Chicago. It's, it's illegal. You can't own one. But all these people keep getting murdered, and the vast majority of them are black people. The vast majority. I know this, and she knows this. And then what she proceeded to say after that, what I said, look, the only re if you disarm people, only the criminal will have guns because criminals don't care. That's what makes you a criminal because you don't care about the laws. Her response to me was, oh, they'll definitely care. Uh, if you put these laws in place, they'll definitely care. Because they'll go to jail. And I'm holding my head, and I'm like, it's already illegal to own a gun, you idiot. I mean, I, I'm literally thinking this. I'm like, this is how stupid these people are. Stupid. I like they are. It's, it's already illegal. If they get caught with it now, they're they're, they're getting strung up, strung up. Soon in, in Virginia, if, I remember when I lived in Virginia. If you were a convicted felon and you even had one bullet in your pocket and they caught you, you automatically got five years. So what the hell is this woman talking about? She's an idiot. And then after that, I'm sitting in this line. Everybody knows me, knows I have mixed, mixed children. The mother of my uh, uh, kids is, is a black woman. My kids are mixed. And then she proceeds to say, again, these are these, these, are these nice liberals that, that, that you guys like to support. That you think, oh boy, they want to help us. They don't want to help you. They want to keep you down. They want to keep you dependent. They want to keep you on the dole. She said, total flat out racist comment. I heard her say it out loud. She said... <laughs> She said, oh, so we don't need to worry about Chicago. They're only killing each other anyway. I knew exactly what that meant. And I'm standing there, like, biting my lip. I'm like, you... I was like, if we, were, if we weren't sitting, in, we're in a courthouse with police and everything everywhere. I, I literally would have laid into this woman. Not physically, but I would have just let her have it. And it, and it, would, have been, it would have been so loud and ridiculous and aggressive that they'd likely would have thrown me out of line. I wouldn't have been able to vote today. But these are the type of people that we're talking about. You know, this Donna Brazil clown. Another clown with the with the Hillary campaign. Come on, man. You guys gotta see this. This is this is this is just ridiculous. You know, it, it's totally ridiculous. You know, and all, all the other things I had to listen to from, from this idiot talking about how things are so great in Great Britain when they got one of the highest violent crime rates on the planet because you're not allowed to have a gun. I like maybe they wouldn't have that problem if, if the average citizen could have could own a, a pistol or a firearm or something to protect themselves. I mean, this is basic logic and common sense. Basic logic and common sense. You want to talk about making yourself a target. So, I mean, this was my experience today. I was so irritated with, with these, these. There was one of them in front of me and one behind me that I had to listen to. And, and it, it just it, it was so perplexing at how ignorant ignorant and totalitarian they are they know better oh we'll give you what you want that's what it, if somebody wants to enslave you guess what they give it to you because it makes you a dependent you are dependent on them that's how they trick you that's how they trick you they're there to help oh boy you're here to help me give me exactly what i need just enough to get by and then what that creates Moral hazard. Look up what that is. Look it up on your own. What is moral hazard? You try to help certain people. doesn't matter what they look like. You're trying to help a certain amount of people. But there's always going to be loopholes and gray areas. And people are going to take advantage of it. Which creates moral hazard.
having to, and this is the stuff I wanted to rip off on this person when I was standing in line, but I was too respectful to the rest of the people in the line because there was hundreds of people there, you know, in the courthouse and everything else. But this lady just kept running her fat mouth. And, and all, all I can think is, it was I was li literally listening to Hillary Clinton, you know, lying about the new thing, talking about the gun thing, doing all this other crap, you know, talking about how her daughter called her on the phone because she said she might vote for Trump or something. Her daughter said she never talked to her again. See, this is the type of stuff you can't think like this. If somebody wants to go one direction or the other in the election, you have to let them do so. Now, if they're family members, you take time with them to try to convince them otherwise. If they decide to do that, you don't disown your family, and you certainly don't say things like that. That's what a coward does. That's what an emotional recluse does. Somebody with very little intelligence and knowledge. They're trying, they're trying to use your emotions against you to basically get what they want. That's really all this is about. You know, having to deal with that today, I was really, really disappointed. Really disappointed. And I really wanted to turn around to this lady and just, just be like, just let her have it. All right, but this is how these people think. And there's a, there's a bunch of them out there. This is how they think. This is what they want. They're the lowlifes on the planet. The lowlifes. They're the elitists. They're the ones that think they're better than you. They're the globalists. That's who these people represent. You don't want that type of thing in your life. You got to vote for what's best here. Here. Go watch the Gettysburg first 100-day plan that Trump has laid out. If you're a Bernie supporter after listening to that, you should be like, damn, that's, that's good stuff. Educate yourself. Strip that emotion out of your head. Common sense. Again, to repeat to anybody that maybe didn't see my first video that I've shared on Facebook, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. I've never, I've never voted for either party in my entire life. The only reason I'm voting for Donald Trump is because he's an independent that happened to win the Republican nomination. And he's not, he's, he's not playing ball with either side. He's not doing what they want him to do. That's why they try to destroy the man. It's obvious. Common sense. Use your brain. Wake up. Wake up. That's just one example of these types of idiots that I just went through today that you were going to have to go through. And if you don't wake up and think with your mind and not this contextual bullshit, then we're going to keep getting more of it.